Hey guys, it's Marlo back with Cloud School. Today I'm going to be doing a five minute summary on the book The Phantom Tollbooth by Norton Juster. So I hope you like it. The Phantom Tollbooth by Norton Juster. In the story, Milo, a boy, gets a package. This package is the Phantom Tollbooth, which later leads him to his journeys in the story. As he passes through the Phantom Tollbooth, he forgets where he is going and doesn't pay attention, and drives, which drives him into the doldrums. In the doldrums, you don't want to do anything. Ta- there he meets Talk the Watchdog, who helps him get out of the doldrums and on with his journey. When they get out of the doldrums, they drive on to Dictionopolis. In Dictionopolis, they meet the humbug and the spelling bee. The spelling bee is a bee who spells words, and the humbug is a humming bug. The spelling bee and the humbug get into a major fight, which ends up knocking down a whole bunch of the cart stalls and gets Milo into jail. In jail, they meet the witch, Faintly Macabre. Faintly Macabre isn't just a witch. She's not the normal witch in Halloween. She's a witch, like which one? Faintly Macabre tells them the story of the lost princesses, Princess Rhyme and Princess Reason, and how someone must go find them and bring them back to restore wisdom to the kingdoms. Faintly Macabre then tells them that they can get out of jail by pressing the button on the door, so they do. After they get out of jail, they go to the great banquet, where you eat your words. You say the speech, and you eat your words. What can I say? There they meet the king, and they devise a plan that they should go find reason and rhyme. The humbug accidentally volunteers by saying it was his idea in the first place. The next morning, they set off to find Reason and Rhyme. During their journey to find Reason and Rhyme, they find they stumble upon many adventures, such as the la- in the land of sound or no sound, or a boy who floats. In the land of no sound or sound, the people are angry because they have no sound, because the sorceress took it from them. Milo must go steal sound from the sorceress's castle on the tip of his tongue. After he steals the sound on the tip of his tongue, they can blow down the walls of the sorceress's castle and have some sound back. In the end of the story, they finally meet Princess Reason and Princess Rhyme. They find Princess Reason and Princess Rhyme in the the lost castle, and they march back to restore wisdom to the lands. Finally, Dictionopolis and Digitopolis finally agree on something after two lost brothers lost in war. Thanks so much for watching my video on the five minute summary of Norton Jester's book, The Phantom Tollbooth. I hope you liked it. If you want to see more of these book summary videos, like this video and please consider subscribing. It really helps out and I hope you liked it. Bye!